Yeah, I'm I'm sorry guys. This song is not getting old just yet. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another fabulous Let's Play of Tropical 4 with, uh, you are on the H&M channel with, uh, Marius. You probably already knew that. So, uh, we're continuing to play our campaign game that we started off before. We are not Fidel Castro. Our avatar is just Fidel Castro. I just want to clear that up. Uh, politics is made up of two words. Poly, which is Greek for many, and ticks, which are blood-sucking insects. I like that one. We may not imagine how our lives can be more frustrating and complex, but Congress can! Colin Hightower. Congress has a wild imagination. I guess that's what he's trying to say. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> so one thing I did notice about the last video is, um, I made a comment about how the music might not be loud enough, and I think the music was actually a bit too loud. So I've gone and turned it down a little bit. Um, again, I can't hear it live, but I get to see it in post, so um, leave a comment if it's getting a little annoying, you just tell me. Um, I'm a jazz man, so I like this music. So what were we working on? We were working on getting, ooh, we got our ministers. Okay, we gotta get our ministers down. Alright, I don't, I don't think it's very patriotic to hire all foreign ministers. I mean, they're your government people. Wouldn't you want them to be your own people? All right, um, hmm. I mean, I guess this is the only... Blaya Evans, congratulations. And, um, poor above average, good. Good, exceptional, below average, good, above average, poor. Well, I guess we would want... Let's get the soldier in there. And, um, I don't, I really don't want to hire foreign people. I feel like that's just fundamentally wrong. Alright. So these people have been appointed our ministers. Look around, President. Oh my gosh. See the overflowing garbage cans. See the toxic fumes in the air? See how Mother Nature suffers? I know you want to do something about the pollution problem, Presidente. I have faith that you are a true friend of Mother Nature, just as we environmentalists are. Please consider issuing the anti-litter ordinance and pollution standard edicts. Alright. Well, um, you know what, Sonny? I'll do that. Providing it doesn't cost too much money. But, I mean, it is environment, so it probably will. Um, I guess that would fall under... General? Hold on, what are we even issuing? We're issuing, um... Ah, oh, it's gone. Okay. So, um... Alright. Uh, tourism? Maybe, because I need it to have to do with the beauty of the island? No? Uh, interior. Yeah! Reduce pollution by residences. Do it! Do it! Alright, um... And what's the other one she wanted me to issue? I don't remember. Anyway, she'll probably come back and tell me if it's that bad. Tally ho, old boy. The riffraff back home are on my back again. You know how it is. They want me to boost a developing nation's economy. We never did that back when I was young, and look how well we turned out. So you could export some logs for us, and we'll keep everyone happy, and you might make some coconuts, or whatever it is that you people call your money along the way. Export 500 logs, you'll receive $5,000 if you accept this task, plus 30 Europe relations. Well, how could I say no, Lord Chuffney? I mean, your monocle is just so... Oh, your mustache, too. Look at that mustache. Hold on. Look at that mustache. Tally-ho, old boy. Tally-ho. You don't even need to speak. Your mustache says it all, boy. My apologies. I'm kind of fiddling with the music volume here, so if it's rapidly changing, it's not your imagination. My son, do you know what all tropic hands should do more often? And surprisingly, the answer is not drink rum. Praising the Lord is the most important activity that tropics, tropicons have. Tropicon, tropicans, chop, tropicans. Tro shoot, 
have been neglecting recently. They need more religion in their lives. Ask God and he agrees that you should do something about it. There's not enough there's not enough in the world to save Tropican souls, but with a few churches and cathedrals we could help save them from the nastier levels of hell. Raise the religion happiness to sixty. Alright, um so I guess what he's basically trying to say is to build a church. So I'm assuming that'd be in welfare, right? Yeah. Well, we are, wait, we already have a church. Let's build another. Okay, um, will that fit? How can we fit this thing? Um, right here. And that would make room for the road. Right. So we'll put that there. Um, all right, we gotta get this log export going. So we need like a logging, logging camp. Perfect, that's what I was looking for. So let's just stick that baby right in the middle and cut all those trees down. Make them suffer. How funny is I just did a quest for the, um, or a mission or task, task, that's what it says. I just did a task for the environment lady and now I'm cutting down trees. Garbage so cans. Some, the ones were in that way. So it wants me to hire more ministers. That's another mission. You're the only candidate and we're still waiting for two. I remember when I was um, younger, I actually thought abysmal on this uh, scale, because like it gives you the scale of the people when you were uh, doing it. And I thought abysmal meant really good, so I'd always hire abysmal meters, and then my uh, my city would always fall apart, and I would always wonder why. But, uh, if you don't know abysmal, it's not good. So we're gonna make like a stack of two of these, and then we'll build a road. But um, we're just going to keep this housing column going. So we'll do that and then... The violence broke out in Tropico as the army tried to remove Reverend Esteban from the pub and get him to start the first service in the new church. Several soldiers are missing, presumed drunk. The Reverend Why has this, this to say. Why curve? Let me another one. And make it a big one. Don't curve. Please, just stay straight. Thank you. And thank you. Cool. 19 new, 19 new immigrants have been brought to our great nation. So, got some students. I might want to invest in a college soon. Our city is dirty and polluted. I know that saying it aloud is not very helpful, but we need to do something. Well, actually, if you say it out loud, you're actually emitting carbon dioxide by your voice, so it's not helping Sunny Flowers. But good try. Oh, Mother Nature. That's that's a joke. Don't get don't get angry. Sorry. Uh, why have not the cleanest and why not have the cleanest and most environmentally friendly city in the Caribbean? I'm sure that with a little effort will be possible. Raise the environment happiness to 60. Ooh, you might have to deny that one. That I'm typically a factory guy when I play this game, so that's gonna be a steep order as far as um, my play style goes. So, we'll see, we'll see. It's getting dark. What's going on? All right, so that's, you're cutting down logs. We need more immigrants. Um, we don't have, like, these places aren't operating to scale. But we don't have, like, uneducated people in the job, so it's not an education issue, it's an actual, like, it's an actual population issue. And I think while we're talking about that, we should create more farms, because I don't want to overstep our income. Ah, oh, tobacco is so green, but coffee's better. Peace and love, dear Presidente. Please accept this flower wreath as a gift and hear my plea. Stop cutting our trees. Stop digging our soil. All environmentalists will respect you more if you live in harmony with nature and do not tolerate any mining or logging on the island like us. Presidente, a famous Russian dissident was poisoned and died. European media are blaming the KGB while the USSR denies any involvement. Unfortunately, we've even put it on the spot and can't remain neutral. What should we should pick a side and see what is our stance on the matter? Um, I I guess I have to go with the lesser of two evils. KGB was probably involved. 
I mean, yeah. Presidente, may your children be many and your camels always healthy. I want to discuss trade with you. It is said that the ship is the camel of the sea. As a man who understands camels, I can only confirm how true that is. Unfortunately, my many in Caprius arrived said that they were sick of camels. On an unrelated note, can you send me some weapons? <laughs> Export a thousand weapons. You will receive weapons factory blueprints if you accept this task. Um, well, we can't accept it yet, but what do we need? What is required to actually build weapons? Like, what raw resource iron it harms the foreign relations by doing so well then maybe we don't want to do it speaking of which what's the what's the mission here we had like this checklist and so like what's the it's this, I'm guessing it's what Santana's asking 25,000 exports so we'll get that on the next ship then wherever that ship might be Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on you for now. We built another church, so religious happiness should be going up. Yeah, it is very slowly. Environment that's never gonna go up. Yeah, did we do it? Did we do it? Exports? Huh? 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 Maybe? Maybe? Look at those crates and that shack. Okay, is it a housing issue? They're occupied. Maybe six percent. Why are these these look smaller? Are they actually smaller? No, they're not. They still have the same. Mm. Hey, we did it. Okay. So um that quest disappeared. I don't know. Are we gonna go again? Um Presidente, I have something for you to sign. And no, it's not my raise again. This is, a, this is an important edict that will make your loyal servants happier. We may even have more members. Yes, everything on the island will run better if you sign this. Whenever I've stood you wrong in the last 15 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Issue building permit. What does that do? Uh, it's probably in general, right? Building permit. Um, interior. No. Economy. Yeah. Increase all construction costs by 20%. 10%. 10% of the money. I can't read today. 10% of the money spent on construction will go to the Swiss bank account. Lower standing with the intellectuals. Uh, it's a mission. So I'm going to do it. Uh, they, they told me to. I would never do that on my own. But... Plant the good crops over here. I don't want to see any funny business. So we got like housing shortages. This is occupancy 45%, despite the fact that it looks full. It looks fuller than that. But I don't know. Um, one thing I do want to do, I want to get a college going in here because uh we're having a shortage of workers and we gotta fix that because that's a bad thing so let's just stick that there hopefully i didn't just screw myself on that road um we're exporting logs hiring ministers we're doing the whole shebang there is a crisis of command in our army sir since tropican soldiers are too unruly we should recruit more generals to urge them in the right direction in battle. Discipline is a paramount paramount for victory. In my experience, one tropical general can effectively command up to three soldiers, sir. Any sir, any more than that would turn the army into a disorganized mob. Well, it's because we don't have any college workers, right? Hello. Is there an audio file? Huh? Maybe. I'm not getting an audio file here. Venerable leader, the money Chinese dragon is request for you. Our great nation is in need of many resources to start the mighty tiger economic reforms. 
Chinese Communist Party, and I would like to ask your honorable person for help. Can you provide us with canned pineapple cheap? Okay. Wait, we don't we don't make pineapple. What's the what's the pineapple uh, overlay look like? Oh, that's not good. All right. Let's see. Okay, so what I wanted to check is can we hire these? Okay, as long as we can hire somebody. Presidente, I see that your council of ministers is up and running. Well done. Thanks, Nick Richards, who's totally not based off of a real-life person that I may or may not have learned about. I've always said that an organized administration is a good administration. It's a side of friendship between our two nations. The U.S. has pledged a stimulus package of $10,000 for the island of St. Clara. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Always looking out for me. I got you. Spot fist. Peace sign. No homo. All right. I see you've made progress on your little island, my friend. Happiness of your people is the key aspect of ruling. No, really. Taking care of the rabble may be tedious, but a happy man won't run off the jungles with a gun and make trouble. I hope you learn this lesson well. Increase the overall happiness of your island to at least 45%. I think it's already there. Yeah, it's at 47. So, I mean, we got that. Malicious journalists are spreading lies about St. Clara in the foreign press, Presidente. They claim that our citizens are living in shacks and makeshift homes, even where some of our own people believe these foreign baboons. Well, you live here. Okay. Uh, we have to expose these lies and make their journalists eat their words. Good housing for everyone, advertising for everyone. Tenants. Tenements are an inexpensive way to solve the housing problems early on. Alright, so... Early on. Not permanently, but... We select that, so let's build ourselves some tenements. I love the music in this game. I think I've said that like 15 times, but I I love the music in this game. Um, okay, uh, I think we're kind of just chilling like a villain. I Or not like a villain. Okay, we need to hire some people here so that people can get educated and move on to higher education. I don't have any output. Okay. Why is your production at zero? Which is wrong with you. Maybe they haven't had enough time yet. None of these productions are at zero. What's going on with you? Alright, we'll check in on you in a, in a hot second. There is an opportunity here that can make us all rich. While well, I was counting money, I was thinking about how to make even more money. Then I saw it, a market niche that is yet unexplored, and if exploited, it can bring us tons of cash. I might even hire someone to count my money for me. Nah, it's too much fun to do. Anyway, here's the deal for the nightclub. Sure, Uncle Sam, man. I would do that, because who doesn't love a good one club? Uh, um, I need electricity. Okay. So, I'll put this away from the city so it doesn't pollute. So we're going to go like, over here. I know I just tore down a bunch of stuff and I'm talking about not polluting, but let's put that stuff put it right here along the beach because that's a smart idea. Workers, college female. Why do they have to be females? Hmm. I built two tenements. Give me the completion. Look at all the people. Look at all the busy streets. We're doing pretty good. I like to say, I think I like to think that we're doing okay. Um, we might need another church. No, we Comrade just need uh, more high school. An article published in the Pravda in Moscow has criticized the housing conditions for the masses in Tropico. 
Comrade Hernando Ricardo, the leader of the communist faction, faction, defines that demand. Oh my gosh. Pause, rewind, let's go. Demands that you do something improve the housing of the pro tower. Pro. I, I, I don't even know. Consider constructing some new houses, tenements, or even apartments if you can afford the expense. Oh, the righty rule. As long as we faithfully follow El Presidente, right? Right. All righty rule. And I am in debt. I need to watch what I'm doing. Our treasury balance is negative at the moment. The World Bank... I, I kind of noticed that. Thanks, though. Hopefully, we're going to be making enough money to make that all up. Otherwise... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got our sports. We're fine. Presidente, please Hi. accept my congratulations on the good work you have done on St. Clara. Based on my recommendations, the U.S. Congress has chosen your island to receive a special grant promoting learning and education. Well, thank you. The literacy program into disaster active you receive an additional five thousand. So you want me to put the literacy addict to be active? That's definitely education. Europe, money request. Hmm, fine day, isn't it? The Maybe. weather seems particularly nice. Pretty dark out where uh, I am. Enough beating around the bush. We would like a small loan. It's not easy running Europe, you know. So how about it, gentlemen? Wouldn't begrudge another man, another gentleman, such a small favor. <laughs> Give your five thousand dollars. <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna do this. But you better remember it. Sir, I, the military committee of Tropico, feel that certain steps must be taken to preserve peace on our island. I, meaning the committee, have decided that now is the best time to issue military modernization, as that will shut up liberals and their... <laughs> what? Well, that's really direct. And their ilk? Il... I-L-K. I'm, I'm saying that right, right? Why, why did the music stop? It heard me say liberals and... Ah, here we go. Now it's coughing. Uh, would rather have us living in anarchy and disorder. You know, better than to ignore good military suggestions, don't you, commandante? Commandante. Command commander. Commander! Issue military modernization. Reward 15 million... 15... Yeah. Ah, my... I'm not having a good reading day today. I did find the other one. Um... So, okay. Um defense so yeah we're assigning a lot of edicts so I want to make sure that we're like increasing oh whoa sir an enemy tornado has infused this is why he wanted me to modernize the military this is why he knew that this was coming what a weatherman you congratulations oh gotta be tough. Oh, no. I haven't even had an election yet. I like how that's what I think has, uh, this is, uh, going to work. Has there's a tornado. I can't hear you, Balloon Demo, over the sound of palace windows breaking. Subjects often get bored and need some place to underwind and have fun for a time, right? As we're not working the core and prosperity of St. Clair, of course. So people want entertainment. Justly so, I mean, I really haven't focused on that. So... Let's make that a... Let's make that a focus. Oh my gosh. You done? You done? Bro, I don't appreciate you just walking in here and doing this. Bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, get out of here. The military's chasing him off. That's why we modernized it. That's right. That's right. The tornado retreated, President. Bet he did. Let's uh, take a look at our island. Tropic and Honor intact. Tornado victims. 10 destroyed buildings. 3. So I think we could just repair all of them. Oh no, we gotta go to Egypt. That's a Tropical 5 thing. There we go. Alright, so as the tornado retreated, 
we are two going to retreat into another episode. This, uh, I'm going to try and keep them a little shorter. I know the last time I went to like a half an hour. I'm going to try and keep it around the 20 minute margin because um, I don't want to make it too long for y'all. So uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe and show all your friends the glory of Tropico and Presidente and dictatorships and all that jazz. And also the jazz. I mean, we have very good music accompanying our ruling of 46% happiness. We gotta improve that, but we'll do that in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Oh, Most wait, hold on. Blessed President Day. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta request. Come for us to plan the construction of a new cathedral, mm -hmm. a true monument to our faith that will make mm -hmm. all the Caribbean green with envy. Yeah. For envy is a sin. Yeah. And the more sinful they are, mm -hmm. the more pious we will be by comparison. So, you think I should build a cathedral? So, thank you, fa thank you, Reverend, not Father. Reverend Esteban, but um, Reverend Esteban, we're going to do that in the next episode. So, peace out. Uh, good day, good health, good luck to all of you in your future endeavors. Come Comrade on, Presidente. Presidente. Why must our citizens mm. starve when our harvest is abundant? If you issue a few for the people edict and allow everyone the two whole meals a day instead of only one, you will be remembered as a true builder of communism. If I do this, will you let me, will you let me say goodbye to my audience? Um, food for the people. Here, take the food, be happy, eat cake. Peace out, everybody. See you in the next episode.